it's j Dog, guys. Let's say a special hello to Amy Decker Awart. Her. Hi, Amy, and to Chris Perriott. Chris from Rogers Gardens, all the way out in Bremerton, Washington. So, hi, guys, welcome to the show. Hopefully, it always brings something useful. Hey, we are into some decorating ideas. I hope to give it to you uh, quick and fast and easy. And a way to decorate your pumpkin without carving the thing. And it could be something that you can even do as a centerpiece inside the house. Let me show you real quick. I've got it all set up here. So what we want to do first, oh, actually let me give you, let me give credit where credit is due. So what we have is uh, the best of Martha washed up, uh, <laughs> Best of Martha Stewart, sorry Martha, uh, Halloween Handbook and Better Homes and Gardens, Halloween 100 Frightfully Fun Ideas. We've taken some ideas out of these guys, kind of clashed them through, kind of made a mishmash of what we, what we thought was doable and practical. So here goes something. So anyway, guys, you're out there, you're walking through the park, you're walking through your backyard, grab some leaves. So what you want is leaves that have kind of turned color but not are crispy this is what we're going to do when we have too kind too green of a leaf what we might not get is the paint that takes it up so what i'm going to do real quick is take some copper painting some copper paint i'm just using this rust-oleum it's a copper color and i'm going to shake it up real quick and we're going to paint these leaves i'll show you show you how that works now, when you're using spray cans, by the way, you really want to make sure you, 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 you juggle it and you get it really well mixed up. Let me give you, let me show it to you real quick. You want it and leaves kind of move as you spray them. You don't want to get too close, but we're going to spray these leaves a nice, shiny, bright copper color. And what we're going to do is let them dry. Uh, watch these smallies because they really move fast. We're gonna we're gonna let them dry. It only takes a few minutes to dry, and then after that, we're gonna flip them over and uh, paint them again, just so we get both sides. So once we have that, what we're gonna do is grab our chosen pumpkin, give it a good washing, by the way, and we're gonna take some contact cement, pure easy contact cement. The, the thicker cement, the better this works. And we're gonna uh, lay down a nice layer and let that give, give it some air, by the way, so it gets a little tacky to the touch. And what we wanna do is take that and we wanna lay down your leaves on there. So, see how we, we wanna get tacky to the touch. So let me spread some, some more of this guy out and about and I believe this dries clear. After this is all done, by the way, what we can do is take that leaf shine and really uh, shine up your pumpkin if, that, if this is going inside. So we want it slightly tacky to the touch. And what we want to do is start laying down your leaves on there just like that to give it a nice little nice look there. And again, I'm kind of doing this pretty quick just because we have a quick, easy, uh, quick, fast video. Now, we can do a nice little design along here. And then once we have that done, what you want to do is get some of that copper wire. Now, this is a decorating wire. And you can get this over at Michael's. Very, very easy to do. What I do is just take it and take a pin and then just wrap it around there just like that. So you get something like that, play around with it just a bit to make it a little squiggly. And what we want to do then is to poke a hole in here. Give me a second here. Poke a hole into these guys. You don't certainly don't need to have a drill to, to poke it in there. But we want to stick that in there, something like that. And start poking holes throughout. Let me see if I can do this and put that in there something like that to give you a kind of a neat look now i haven't yet finished this but anyway that's kind of the look that you're going to get when all of this is said and done and hopefully that gives you a good idea on how to do your pumpkin for this year so something like that how's that look on that side 
Something like that? It's pretty full, yeah. Okay. Good. Anyway, I hope that helps. I hope that is an idea that you can use. I've just used one kind of leaf, by the way. Um, something like that. I've just used one kind of leaf. Certainly can put lots more co uh, copper wiring as well. So anyway, guys, thought for the day. Be careful of your thoughts. They may, they may become words at any moment. Thank you very much, Ira Gaston. That's the show, guys. Always live your passion. See me right out of the sunset on the color TV screen.